Well, the good part about Brian is that you can't predict what Brian you're going to have in you. He got uh, many different ways of fighting. And whatever uh, Perez brings, he's going to adjust to the situation and find a way to win. What Perez do you think you're going to get? You think you're we, looking, get the... we, we, we looking at Perez uh, five fights ago. Five fights ago. Yeah, yeah. Five, I, I looked at five fights ago, how, how accurate he was, mm -hmm. how fast he was, and we looking at the best Perez to come, not the times that when he wasn't looking good. You're not looking at his last yeah. fight with the nah. Yeah. No. no, we we look to get something different. Yeah, we than that. we expect to get the best of Perez. Yeah. The question is, is what what Perez is willing to, <coughs> willing to take? <coughs> you know, Fedesar took like eight or nine rounds and realized that it was over, and didn't come out. <coughs> and uh, Speaker realized it uh, after the fifth round that I got to survive. You know what I mean? And to get just to get through the fight, you know. And, and Byram kept the pressure, but it didn't stop Brian Jennings. And the, the last three guys he sparred, all together, you had to combine their records, is about 70 wins and maybe three, four losses out of three guys he sparred. If he fulfills the potential that I believe he has then I think you'll see the boxing love child of Mike Tyson and Pernell Whitaker. That's what he can. I know that he can perform defensive and cunning moves like Whitaker against good grade fellas in the gym. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about him sparring with incapable guys. These are big, strong, fast, clever, powerful guys that he is reducing to jittering, nervous wrecks without even throwing a shot because they'll, they'll let a four or five combination go, he'll end up underneath and behind them. As they've turned round, he just blows them a kiss and walks off. And, and, and for a guy that's not used to seeing that, that's a bit upsetting. He's not going back down. The, the, the harder the challenge, the harder the fight. The other guy. If the other guy looked to maneuver and survive, that's the best thing for him. But when you come to pre put the fight, press the fight, Ryan Jennings is going to meet him on his time, not on the, the, other the opponent's time. You know what I mean? So Brian Jen Jennings got many attributes. He can use his feet. He can he can maneuver. He can fight toe to toe, and he can never let the guy touch him if he don't want to. I mean, it all depends on uh, how the reaction from Mike Perez when they're in there. If he keeps it a clean fight fight will be good. If he go dirty and then Brian Jennings is going to match whatever he brings. He, he'll, he'll find a way to win at any cost. All right. At any cost. He brings an emotional stability and a mental stability that top grade fighters need. And I think he's going to need that on Saturday night. Because in terms of speed, power, cunning, defense, Footwork, movement, whatever you, whatever element goes to making a good fighter. From what I know of Mike Perez, Mike wins every comparative. Every category. Every category. But of course, this is a fight, and it's more than who's got the quickest, best jab. And I think that his uh, his emotional and mental stability will be the challenge for Mike because I don't expect Bryant to succumb quickly to the things that Mike will do. So the challenge for Mike will be to come back to the corner, sit down, relax, and repeat. 